Hey guys, Multiclassic Gamer here. Humba's Wigwam has become a big wom. Let's see what that changes. This time on Banjo Tooie. Hey guys, if I ever already said hey guys, which I probably did, so that's probably awkward. So, yes, uh, Humba Wombo's Wigwam has increased in size. Uh, yeah, let's see what that does. So, when it was small, we became a uh, baby T Rex, but now we are a daddy T Rex. Yep. Wumba called this daddy T Rex. Use control stick to move and B to make much noise. Oh, shoot. Oh, really, eh? Alright. Let's go out and do some uh, good old rampaging, shall we? Now, I have to say, I've always had a thing for dinosaurs. Like, uh, one of my favorite uh, PC games of all time is Zoo Tycoon 2. And one of the, thing, one of the animals you can adopt in that game are T-Rexes. You can adopt, like, with the right expansion packs, you can actually adopt dinosaurs. So... I was I was always very fascinated with dinosaurs, ma mainly because of that game. I just loved having them, you know, on display for uh, zoo zoo guests. I get uh, I don't know. Either way, so one of the things you're gonna do as a daddy T Rex, you're gonna hit that switch out there. They can only hit as a daddy T Rex, and then you have to switch, come back in here, switch back to Banjo and Kazooie, and then you have to get that Jinjo before time runs out. It's very simple to get. But yeah, that's one of your Jinjos in this world. So we're going to pick up that Jinjo. They give you way more enough time to get it, so you don't have to worry about that. And with that, we complete the brown Jinjo family and get ourselves a Jiggy. Sweet. So that gives us 44 Jiggies. Alright. So, how are you guys doing today? Today, as I'm recording, this is still December 12th. It's almost December 13th. It's almost midnight. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to switch back to Daddy T-Rex. We are not even close to done with the fun that you can have with this transformation. I mean, the fact that they... I mean, this is a really neat idea. The fact that you can switch the sizes of uh, Humba Wumba's Wigwam and that directly influences what your transformation is. I always thought that was a very, very, very clever idea for this for this world. I still wouldn't call Pterodactyl my favorite world in the game, but yeah. It's still a pretty fun one. Actually, come to think, of it, I don't really, I don't think I really have a favorite world in this game. Actually, I don't think I do. I just, uh, I'm kind of indifferent to all of them, and I don't have as much experience with this game as I do this, as I do the first one. So yeah, it might have something to do with it. But yes, your your roars are a lot louder as a daddy. So loud that you actually kill enemies without even touching them. Watch. But if you want to, you can simply run over them too. But there is actually one direct purpose to the T-Rex that you have to take care of while you're in the storm. And I think... Yes! That's an easy way to collect that empty honeycomb piece if you don't want to get the way you're supposed to get, which I think is using Kazooie or somewhat. And that, I think, up there is should be the last uh, Rock Nut tribe member, but unfortunately, yeah, T-Rex is useless against it. You would think it would do something, but no, his armor prevents that from being the case. Uh, can I hit the switch while I T-Rex? No, I can't. Okay, I need an egg to do that. Because I think that's actually our last Jinjo up there. Yeah, that's our last Jinjo of this world in there. Okay. Have to keep that in mind. Now, how exactly you get to it, aside from using the click clockwork eggs, which is what we're going to do, uh, remains to be seen. But, go over here with the T-Rex and... I that's scary. Me must go change loincloth. <laughs> and that's how you get rid of that, that uh, caveman up there. And that is pretty much all you do as a Daddy T-Rex. Yeah, the only unfortunate part about the... As creative as it, of an idea as it is, there's they don't really give you much to do with this, this form, which is very unfortunate. But yeah, it's just how it is. Just how it is. I guess this is why the... Yeah, those platforms are kind of positioned like that. But yeah, it's still, it's, it's pretty cool to run around oh. as it for a bit. I don't even know why I'm making the effort to stay off this, out of the swamp. It doesn't matter at this point, but oh well. We are out of there, and we are going to transform back to the Baron Bird for the rest of our adventure through this world. So that's 
pretty much how it is. I think uh, we're pretty much done with Mumbo and uh, Humba in this world now. Which is unfortunate, but oh well, we'll still have them for three more worlds. Alright, goodbye, Day to your ex. It was fun meeting you while it lasted. Alright. So now we're gonna exit Wig uh, the Wigwam. We're just gonna. I mean, the Big Wom. We're just gonna leave it like that. How about that? How do you like that? I'm sure Humbo Woman doesn't mind at all, honestly. She probably doesn't care. In fact, she probably might take advantage of her size and actually use that against Mumbo. You know. She'll say, uh, she might make a Mumbo pancake, I guess, because she'll squish him. Uh. Oh boy. Oh, jeez. How did I do that without taking damage? Okay. Okay, I'll take it. I will take that. So, uh, I think our next orb is... Oh yeah, let's, let's take care of that Rockna tribe member, too, while we're at it, yeah. Well, that's in mind, might as well do that. I sure hope that's the last one, too. I really hope so. Because I'm gonna be pretty pissed off if that isn't. Oh yeah, first we gotta get up to where he is, obviously. Why didn't I get him anyways? Like, I'm pretty sure this is actually supposed to be the first one you get anyways. That's kind of... that's really odd. Let's see, where is he? I don't suppose I could get an egg up there, can I? No, it's not gonna happen. Okay, let's do it the way you were supposed to do it then. How about that? Must have never gone through here or something. Because all this really is right here, this little piece inside the mountain, is just a little pathway up to here, which I think takes you to that Rockna tribe member. I'm pretty sure. And I was right, yes, there he is, right here. This should be the last Rockna tribe member. I think you just have to avoid his uh, mace in order to get it back there. There you go. So, just gotta be careful here, make sure we don't jump off the ledge, and there we go! Yes! Arg, not believe you've beaten all Rock Nuts tribe. We let you have shiny rock. And shiny health meter thing. So there we go, 45 jiggies. Okay, now let's see if I can get this uh, Jinjo without doing it the way you're supposed to. So we're gonna shoot an egg up at it. I don't think it has to be a particular type of egg, does it? Okay, apparently I have to use a grenade egg to press it. Okay, well now let's see if I can get the Jinjo. Again, there is an easier way to do this, but this is uh, the faster way to do it. So, let's see if this will work. Let's see if these click, walk, click work egg, clock work eggs are as big as I thought. Okay, no, that didn't work. There's also a possibility I just need to get a better angle or something. Nah, the angle's not gonna work. Maybe if I just get a little closer, maybe. Oh my god, I actually did it! Wow! Okay. Wow. And I surprisingly did not get hit by that Stegosaurus. I think I'm more surprised by that than the fact that I got the Jinjo. <laughs> Alright. So, let's see how we're doing on Toll so far. That is all the Jinjos, all the moves, all the honeycomb pieces. Uh, just missing one Cheeto page. And that's all the Globos and all the notes. So, literally, all we have left are just the Jiggies. Alright. Well, I guess while we're over here, let's go check out what was behind that entrance that was being blocked by the... You know, by the... U well, not by the Ugabugas. I think the Ugabugas are the ones that are stuck in the... Stuck inside there, so let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at the traitors who commit the horrendous crime of wanting to share. How disgusting. Disgusting. Yep, here they are, the Hooga Boogles. Uh, uh, hello. You should see someone about that stammer. No, not stammer. Uh, uh, freezing cold, cold. C cave, no central he heating. N no food e either. Hooga tribe, not good guards outside cave. P please warm cave up and get, get food. Y you got, got jiggy. M maybe. Warm and f f first. 
Okay, sir, I'll get you some... Well, you cannot, you can already heat up the K for them, so that's, uh... That's the one part of this, uh, jig you can get, but yes, uh... As I am sort of hinting at here, you cannot get this jiggy quite yet. Be warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. So we need to get these guys some junk food. Where have we seen junk food before? Well, yeah, if you think back to a certain amusement park we were at uh, like 15 episodes or so ago. Uh, there was junk food there. They had french fries and hamburgers, but unfortunately, as you saw, um, we cannot get the food out of Witchy World without Grunty taking them away from us. So how are we gonna get them to, to these cavemen? Well, we'll find out later. Me, warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. What's weird is that like when they're talking after you warm them up, they're still shivering, but oh well, at least they're better now. They're just hungry. Yeah, if you watch them enough, they'll just chew on their fingers. Now there's one more of these guys uh, up on a ledge. It's like above here. And you need to use this to get up to that, oh, dude. That's like Grip Crab Ledge. There we go. I do have to say, I do like the music that plays in the caves in this world. I think it's pretty cool. It's one of the cooler cave things in the game. Okay, so here's that third one. So there we go. Now we solved their heat problem, but we also need to get them some food. It's basically like the reverse of the... Of those pigs in uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon, instead of, you know, not being able to warm them up, we can't do the other thing. I mean, like, obviously the pigs didn't need to eat, they just needed to... They need the pool clean and to, and to be able to submit. So anyways, through here, if you keep going down, you follow this path, you'll actually find a secret egg entrance into Witchy World. This entrance is your only means of getting the junk food to Pterodactyl Land. But, the only way up to this ledge is by using a move that we do not have yet. We're not going to have that move until World 6. So that's why you can't get this jiggy until after World 6. So, we're going to cross that bridge when the time comes. But in the meantime, we have other matters to take care of, and that involves traveling up to the highest point of Pterodactyl Land. And, uh, let's see, we're after 13 minutes here. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and do it. So we're going to go ahead and make our way up here, back out of this cave. At least we don't have to worry about them dying of, uh, you know, hypothermia in there. So we're going to, next thing we're going to do is we're going to warp to the very top of the mountain. So luckily we happen to have a warp point at the very start of the stage. Let's just make our way over there. So I will say that it may seem like I know this game very well. Like I know pretty much, like I have pretty much the entire game laid out in my head. But in all honesty, it's really not that, um... My knowledge of this game is not as, you know, widespread as it might seem. Be and the main thing is, is that after this world, that's when my memories start to be non-existent, I should say. So anyways, this is the way to the top of the mountain. Um, and actually, I just... I just had a different idea of what I want to do next, actually. I know it's... I know you're probably thinking I was going to do something else, but actually what I want to do... is I want to head right here. And I want to go through this entrance right here. And if I land just properly up here, now this is actually the very top of the inside of the mountain. As you can see, there are split pads here. But what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to land on the top of that spire down there. Because there is something waiting for us down there that I would like to do right now to end off this episode. Oh, of course I didn't make it. Crap. Well, so much for that. I think you have to... Uh, there's gotta be another way, isn't there? You know, now that I think about it, I think there's actually flight pads. A flight pad at the top of this mountain. So let me meet you guys back up there. 
Okay, let's try this again. Now, I could have swore that somewhere in this room is a flight pad that makes it a lot easier to access what I'm trying to access here. Let's see what the sign says here. Has someone been repairing holes in their nest recently? No, that's actually a hint of something kind of important. No, it's not here. Okay. Alright, so I guess, uh... Huh. I guess I'm, I'll, I'll try and make it again, but yeah, there's pretty much no guarantee of that, so... I know it's like further to the left right here. Yeah, there's like no way I could possibly... Well, I mean like if I had just landed, yeah. Okay, whatever, I'm not gonna try this again. So next time on Banjo-Tooie, I'm going to actually get it, get this right. I'm just gonna land on the top, on the bottom of the spire, and then I can use the spring shoes to get up to it. But yeah, once I get on top of that spire, um, then I'll actually be able to do what I was trying to do here. But we'll do that next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.